Hello and a warm welcome to all the viewers of Markets and Money Control and a happy Dhantaras to you all. I am Mariam Faruqi and this is a segment to watch out for all these street updates. Today in our morning segment we talked about the rally in markets and it looks like if there are no nasty surprises, markets will climb from these levels. However, the equity benchmarks open on a slightly mild note, uh, but uh, will it continue to be under pressure? We will find out, but first a look at the headlines. Reliance Industries and BP is looking at investing $1.5 million to develop satellite gas fields. And about GST, Jammu and Kashmir is likely to bring liquor and electricity under the new tax regime. These were some of the updates. Now let's get chatting with Money Control Editor Santosh Nair and find out how the markets fared today. Hi Santosh, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mariam. So how did the markets perform today? Well, uh, some bit of uh, profit taking there, uh, which was to be expected uh, partly given that the markets have had a good run up over the last uh, three trading sessions. The BSE Sensex ended in the negative territory, but uh, the Nifty continued to make uh, new highs, uh, closing at around uh, 10,234 points. The big action was in uh, mid cap and small cap share today. The mid cap index rose about 0.6% and the small cap index by about 0.7%. Uh, uh, sentiment still continues to remain quite upbeat. Uh, the consumer price, uh, the wholesale inflation numbers uh, announced yesterday were also uh, better than expected. In fact, it declined to about 2.6%. So overall, uh, no major uh, negative trigger for the market at this point. Uh, the earnings uh, declared so far has been a mixed bag, but no nasty surprises. And so uh, overall, when you look at the fact that global markets too have been holding steady, uh, there is reason to believe that the market could continue to build on the gains made over the last three sessions. Right. And for our viewers, a quick check on gainers and losers. Well, uh, much of the action today was in uh, telecom stocks. So Bharti Airtel and Bharti Infratel continuing to uh, ex extend their winning streak. Uh, Bharti Airtel is in talks to buy uh, Tata's uh, consumer mobile business and that is expected uh, to help uh, Bharti consolidate its position further. Uh, the stock has been climbing steadily over the last three trading sessions now. Bharti Infratel 2 has been uh, rising. Bajaj Auto shares uh, gained about uh, 2%. The company's operating performance was, uh, uh, for the second quarter was better than what analysts were expecting. The stock uh, hitting a record high today. Axis Bank uh, continued to be under pressure. The company will be announcing its uh, quarterly numbers uh, shortly. The stock fell about 1.8% uh, yesterday. Today also it was down by about 1%. Uh, uh, Delta Corp uh, uh, was uh, and DHFL was among the stocks which were under pressure today. Uh, Colgate Palmolive to slipped a bit uh, after the uh, quarterly earnings were not uh, really up to market expectations. ICICI Lombard uh, firmed up after the numbers were better than market expectations. So much of the action largely uh, being restricted to companies that are announcing their quarterly numbers. Right. And before we let you go, how did you celebrate Dhantar? Did you invest in gold? Well, that's, uh, uh, you know, gold, uh, to some extent, uh, it has lost its uh, uh, shine very clearly over the last one year. And I've never been a fan of uh, gold even otherwise. Um, and at this point, what analysts are saying is that it makes sense to invest in gold. But uh, from a, a longer term perspective, not really, uh, it's never a short term trading bet any which ways. Um, but clearly it looks like uh, equities is the place to be in at least for the next couple of years. Thank you, Santosh. That's all for now. But for more cues, views and analysis, log on to moneycontrol.com.